On the sixth pull of Christmas, Miss Our Studio gave to me six geese laying five gold rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Lee and Jeremy want to wish you all a happy holidays and a wonderful new year! Hey guys, hey guys. how's it going? I'm Jeremy. I'm Lee. And this is Massey Art Studios. Today is a really special episode. It's the sixth pour of Christmas. They're all special. Yes, well, they are all special. So, but um, as you can see, I got my beard going. You have grown that out considerably <laughs> since yesterday's pour. Yes, yeah. yes, since yesterday's pour. Right. That's a lot of beard. Um, and uh, we have so much to show you today. Um, we're really, really excited. Uh, we're going to be pouring. Over because it's six geese a laying, we got these big, beautiful ostrich eggs. Right. That we are pouring over today. I'm so scared and nervous if you hold uh, in that thing. <laughs> I'm gonna put it back down now. Yeah. <laughs> so yes. But he's because... Mr. Clum he's the clumsy elf. Oh yeah. So um yeah, that would be not I have no spatial awareness <laughs> whatsoever. If you drop that thing. Yeah, I'm really excited to pour over these big bad ostrich yeah. eggs. Yeah. Um, we're going to pour them in the similar way to the ornaments, you know, yeah. using the bamboo skewers mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, I think and that's the best way. We've got some very different and super interesting colors. We do, yeah. yeah. I can't wait to introduce those colors to you as right. we start. Okay. Yeah, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Please. We love it. We, we're we doing all of this for you. Right. And you're halfway through now. <laughs> halfway through. This, this is six of the twelve. Yeah. So you only got six more to go. I know. Christmas Day is our last one. It is. I'm excited. Yeah, so. But um, anyway, so why don't we get to it? Let's do it. All right. All right, guys. Um, I got my egg here, my lovely egg. It's I got... so huge. <laughs> it is a big egg, it is. isn't it? Yeah. And um, I got my paints. I'm going to introduce my paints to you. Um, we have the Pearl Glacier Blue by Arteza. We have the uh, Folk Art t Metallic Taupe. We have the Folk Art Metallic Rose Golds. And we have Deco Art Acrylic Antique Whites. Lovely. Yeah, so I'm really excited about these. Um, I'm gonna just put these right over here. I should take this from Thank you, Elf you. Jeremy. Thank you. Um, and I'm really excited about these colors. They're just so pretty. Can I tell everyone that they're actually mixed? Um, 40% paint and 60% Floetrol, and that's it. There's no water in any of these pores because you asked for it just a little thicker. Yeah, I wanted it a little thicker. Right. So, um, Could so you show everyone the consistency of it? Maybe kind of just in front of your egg, the next one you take the stick out. Yeah, of, of course, of course. Because I know this helps. Yeah. See how it's like, what would you compare that to? It's like runny honey, right? Yeah, I would say it is. It's like honey. Right. Yeah, whoops, I almost hit that egg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the, for the no, moment no. gets... No, Don't say that. Like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Don't say that. Now, I see your colours. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Are you doing a Are you doing a dirty cup? Are you doing a layered cup? Are you doing a ring pour? What, what's the I'm going to be doing a ring pour, I think, with these colours. I think that it would be really pretty. Okay. Um, because they're, they're such specific colours right. that I think that uh, the way that I'm going to do them is... Um, it's going to be really pretty, yeah. So, I have them all lined up and ready to go. Okay. Um, all right, guys, let's layer this cup. I'm going to start off with my blue because this is going to be the last one that's going to come out on top. So, I want this blue to be first. And I'm not pouring a whole lot in here. Then that antique white. I would say that our dear friend at AZ Rock Garden Designs, the lovely Julie, 
would probably really appreciate these colours because they're very fantastical to me. They kind of look like fantasy kind of colours. They do. Although we can't see in that cup because your hand's right in the way, we can definitely see you pouring those colours into the cup. And I see the lovely layers now. Now you chose not to put a base coat or any kind of flood coat on Exactly. This. That's why I wanted my paints thicker. Right. And I feel like the egg has a certain shine and kind of smooth texture to it. So I'm hoping that the paint is just going to run right down the egg anyway. Yeah. Me too. That blue next to all those colors is so awesome. Yeah, I'm really loving it. I'm loving this rose gold, to tell you the truth. We've never used rose gold before. I know. I think this is pretty much gonna be. Well, you're, hopefully you'll probably need like half of that cup, but it's always good to have a little bit extra in case yeah. you lose the composition you want. So. Exactly. That's okay, so great. I'm gonna keep the rest of these paints over here, just in case. And, ah, um, oh, geez. Why don't we get this party started? I'm actually gonna kinda try to balance my base. Well, let's see, I don't wanna touch it. All right, let's see, here it goes. There's the blue you were talking about. Yeah. And it is, it is running all down the sides. Um, if you want to come and get a close up, Lee, of, of like around it to see how beautiful this looks. I will do once you've finished. Okay. Because I'll take everyone in for a close up. I'm, I'm done. Oh, really? Oh, I'm done. Yeah. I think this is perfect. Yeah. I'm loving this. Absolutely. Yeah, I love this. I think it's gorgeous. Now, you know that this is going to sit, this will, like a vase or a yeah. vase, yeah. this will continue to drip for at least another. 10, 15 minutes even. Yeah. So the composition will change on it ever so slightly. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna pour my egg and then we'll take you in for a close up of both of them together once they've stopped dripping Perfect. ever so slightly. Perfect. Because then the composition will be a bit more set. Yeah. Okay guys. All right. Everyone, this is Elf Lee. Um, here is my beautiful ostrich egg, which I've been handling with kid gloves ever since we got them like three weeks ago. And I'm going down a slightly different route than Jeremy. I'm taking this really fantasy and I'm kind of going to do a dragon's egg. That is my plan. So let me introduce you to my colours. Now, again, I apologise if I mess some of these up because these are leftover colour paints. But this one, I know for sure, is copper. So this one is definitely going to be goldens and it'll be iridescent copper. This one is definitely Bordeaux red by Arteza. This one I know for sure is Fireball. Um, I have some folk art metallic black. I think this is permanent deep violet. Mm -hmm. And that will be an Amsterdam colour. Yeah. Now this is also an Amsterdam colour, but I cannot remember the name of it, but it's clearly orange. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can see, I've got some like orange and some metallics and some reds. 
So, I'm going to first off, Jeremy, layer my cup right yep. here. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some of the darker colours in the bottom. No, the lighter colours in the bottom, darker colours on the top, because I want the lighter colours to come out at the end. Got it. So that is what I'm thinking. But I am going to start with a smidge of the copper in the bottom first, because I really do want that to be one of the last things out. Then I'm going to go in with the Bordeaux. Ah, no, I said lighter colours. I'm sorry. Then I'm going to go in with a permanent deep violet. That's what I meant to do. And then some of the orange. All right. Now some of the fire opal. Uh, permanent deep. Back in with the copper. I'm going to do little healthier layers now. I'm going to do my first layer of the black. I think this is fire opal, but it might not be. It might be a colour that's been mixed with the pearl medium. It looks very like burnt sienna. Yeah, it does actually. With like the with the, the Vallejo pearl medium in yeah. there. I'm really interested to see how this is going to come out. You and me both, Chuckles. You and me both. Okay. Yeah, orange, orange. <laughs> and then a little bit of Bordeaux. Just like you, Jeremy. Super greedy when it came to these colours, and my cup could probably over, go over four ostrich eggs, never mind this one that I have here. But... You know, we like to pour, what can we say? So, let's now take this to the egg and see what happens. Are you ready, Jeremy? I am. If I see something I like, I'm going to stop. Which could be right now, actually. Oh, wow. That is amazing. I really liked the colours that were coming out of the cup at that last, that last pass. I think that's where I'm going to stop. I'm going to just quickly check like, you, yeah, it does really cover the whole egg. It does. It really, that was really cool. I was really worried that it wasn't going to get the bottom of it, but it did. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do anything more. I do have a little bit of paint left in the pot, but I don't want to pour it because I really like what happened. That's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. And I, I, you can't actually see this, but you will do later when we take you with the close-up. I do have some cells on the back, which is kind of cool. So, let's do the same thing. Let's leave this for like 10 or 15 minutes. Okay. Let's let some of those drips go down so that they can kind of see how the composition is going to rest. Sure. And then let's take them in for a close-up. Sure. Thanks, guys. Well guys, there you have it. That was our six geese a laying. <laughs> I had to like count real quick. I heard there you go, what you do with yes. that? Yeah. Yes, yeah. six geese a laying um, with those amazing ostrich eggs. Um, loved it. Right. Absolutely loved it. It was so much fun. Really loved it. Um, the colors are just great on both of ours. I really love Lee's a lot. Well, thank you. Um, I, I really love yours beautiful. a lot. Well, thank you. I think yours is like fantasy. I think they're both fantasy. I think yes. mine's a dragon egg and yours yes. is like a fairy tale egg. It's very cool. Yeah. I yeah. really enjoyed that. I think they'll look very good in our home. I think they will. And we've got some <laughs> cute stands for them, which we'll show you yes. in the dried results. Yes, absolutely. Uh -huh. um, yeah, that was just great. I, I had just a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I really I feel like it's my little, my little nest egg. Right. <laughs>
<laughs> Did you lay that one? I don't know. I, again, I was a little worried about this because, you know, we've poured over vases before, mm. vases, and, um, yeah. you know, I, I know how difficult it can be because you clearly lose the composition as it kind of drips down there, yeah. whatever it is. So I was a little worried, but I actually really enjoyed it and I loved the way they came out. I know, me too. Yeah. I'm so excited about these. Should we take them in for a close-up? I think we should. Let's show you the dried results on the little stands. So, Jeremy, spit in your fantastical egg here. Yes. Tell me about it. Oh my gosh, I just am in love with this egg. I think it's so great how the paints just are so soft and subtle on it, but it actually looks like some beautiful, you know, uh, ethereal egg. It does look very ethereal. Fairy, yeah. fairy tale. Fairy tale. Like fantasy, this one. Yeah. I really love it. I think it came out a huge success. So Lee, tell me about your egg. I tried to make what I would thought would be a dragon egg, a fantastical dragon egg, and I think I got it. I loved the blacks with the reds and the golds on this one. As you're spinning it, I like the, the copper in there is really shining through. It's got really good copper veins in it. Um, yeah, I really, really like this one. I thought it was really pretty. It is, it's gorgeous. Thank you. So that was a little <laughs> <laughs> bit <laughs> so that was the dried results, guys. That was the dried results. Um, yes, and super I just cool. think they're super cool. Me too. Yeah, really they're, they're really it. cute. You have to let us know in the, in the messages and in the notes and stuff. Or the um, comments. Or the comments. That's the yeah. word I was looking for. My brain is just not working today. Like, I'm having another today? cup of coffee. Today? <laughs> Every day. But I'm done. So. <laughs> So in the comments, let us know what you think. Um, I love this 12 Pours of Christmas. It's so, it, much so much fun. I'm so glad that you guys get to share it with us. And uh, come back tomorrow for Seven Swans of Swimming. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's awesome. Yes, yes. So, we'll tell you more about it then. Yes, exactly. We'll see you exactly. at five o'clock. See you at five o'clock. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, okay, guys. So we wanted to take a moment to thank some very, very special people, and that's the guys that have joined our Patreon account. What that is, if you don't know, is the opportunity to join at different tiered levels to get different perks from the Massey Art Studio. And they go from sneak peek pictures to a level with videos exclusively just for those pourers, yeah. to live streams and tutorials, all the way up to the diamond level where you get to choose the colors for an episode that we yeah. put on YouTube, and then you get a canvas that we paint for you on the channel, an yes. 11 by 14. So with that said, we've got some people that we really want to thank. At the gold level, we've got Jane Klein, Trisha West, Janice Pittman, and Janice Swansea. Mm. At our platinum level, we've got Leslie Beaver. Yay. And our diamond pourer, part of our Massey Posse, our diamond MP, is Laurie, AKA Sparkles. Sparkles. So thank you guys for wanting to take an extra special look at the studio and supporting us. We appreciate you so very much.